The biggest key to unlocking the true market demand potential for this industry revolves around getting people to want to commission energy models. So today a lot of them do it because someone wants them to or because they have to in some jurisdictions. We want people building stakeholders, building owners, consultants and so on to want to do energy models because they see the value add, the value proposition. Unfortunately right now we have a box checking mentality where the energy modeler doesn't even come in until the design is effectively complete and the energy model is just documenting compliance with energy code or for purposes of getting lead points. Our standard construction practices have been based for a long time on on lowest first cost and in fact most of what we do is based on a competitive bid environment. There's a ton of time and effort and money spent by the owner to try to figure out what the best systems could be and then the bidding environment comes along and all of that stuff goes out the window. Nobody says I want a building that's going to cost three bucks a square foot to operate. If an owner knew enough to ask that question that would change the game because that would drive value as opposed to first cost. Part of the problem is that because energy modeling has been used for box checking for so long, that box checking actually discredits energy modeling as a design tool. People don't think it gives useful feedback. They think it's just something that you do to get your, your permit or to get your lead points. Once we break out of that vicious cycle, it can be viewed as an important tool for understanding and comparing the energy efficiency of buildings and optimizing that efficiency over the operations of the building.